But I just wonder if around this game, if it actually the story is going to be around the players who aren't fit to play, who aren't able to, to take part in it with suspension, for example, like, like Saliba. Yeah, I mean, that's been the sort of narrative this week, hasn't it? I mean, Arsenal, to be fair, aren't contributing to that. Mikel Arteta is coaching staff or the players, but they can't let that noise get into their heads. They have to really think about going out there on Sunday and win. And we had a debate about this the other day that I, I just can Arsenal afford to see Liverpool seven points clear of them at 6.30 on Sunday evening? They just can't. That's not because they can't get that back over a season, but we're talking about a team that are trying to make that final step to win a league. And I think if you've got three or four players missing, this would be the best time for them to go and win on Sunday. The best time to go and shock everybody. It would be not a surprise Arsenal winning, but because the players that are out, there is something building that, oh, Liverpool are favourites. Go and shock us, go and do something, go and play. And basically sort of, you know, get within one point at Liverpool and all of a sudden things change again so that's to me where I think the game is for Arsenal for Liverpool they can afford to just set, like, let the crowd get a little bit nervy I think and sit back for 25-30 minutes because they're good defensively and see what Arsenal do. Does